edible spray paint? And ladies and gentlemen, say hello to inhalable caffeine. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is my flow. The Microsoft Holodesk allows the user to interact with 3D objects. It uses Kinect technology and a webcam to track your line of sight and hands, and an optical see-through display to create the graphics. It's not for sale, but it's a cool demo for virtual object interaction. Researchers at MIT, meanwhile, are busy looking through concrete walls. They've developed a phased array radar system that uses a microwave wavelength to get through the wall and return a signal that can detect people on the other side. The idea is for it to eventually aid soldiers in urban warfare. While this autonomous mini tank is designed to do everything from clearing mines and bulldozing to launching drones and carrying equipment and apparently can receive input from an Xbox 360 controller. Uh... This new developmental software allows objects to be inserted into photographs seamlessly. It takes simple lighting and depth annotations from the user and renders synthetic objects into the image so well that testers couldn't distinguish actual objects in the photo from artificially added ones. Darren's great big camera took six months to build, $2,200, and uses x-ray film that's three feet long. Just setting up a single shot takes about 15 minutes, and it takes a photo so detailed that a print can be blown up half the length of a volleyball court and stays sharp. Meanwhile, 6.6 .6 miles beneath the ocean's surface in the Mariana Trench is a single-celled organism the size of a mango. This video not only captures the largest known single cells, but opens up a whole new habitat for further study. Hand-holding magnifying glass or something else. If you ever wanted your hair shampooed by a robot, for some reason, Japan has you covered. Panasonic's new device autonomously handles wetting, shampooing, conditioning, and drying. Foambot is a robot capable of building itself out of foam. So scientists can eventually create specific sized robots for specialized tasks, say in space exploration or something else. And the PR2 is a robot that locates, scoops, and deposits poop into a bucket. So yeah. Finally, this video combines free running with a Tony Hawk Pro Skater style. I'm gonna leave you with a predator pumpkin. There are four clues in the description of this video. The first person to get all four correctly will be our genius of the week. So good luck, and as always, thanks for watching.